This is Prince Arrington, QA Director on Gears of War 4, and welcome to Beta Tips Episode 1, The Basics. Here are eight tips to get you started in Gears of War 4 multiplayer. Using cover is the core of combat in Gears of War, and is all tied to the A button on your controller and a standard control scheme. Use A to slam into cover when close to a wall or object. This is a great way to recover your health and for engaging at range. While in cover, hold the left trigger to pop out from cover to target enemies more accurately while still protecting most of your body. Don't stick around in cover for too long as you leave yourself open to surprise flank attacks. Move forward with the fight and stick close to teammates. When you're moving out of cover, you can get around the map faster by holding the A button to roadie run. Once you've mastered cover, wall bouncing is an advanced technique that can make or break close range firefights. In Gears of War, as you take damage, the iconic Crimson Omen will begin to appear on your screen. Once the Omen is fully visible, you'll enter a down but not out state, which will cause you to fall to your hands and knees. In this state, you can crawl into cover and try to revive yourself. Tap A while not moving to get up in the quickest time possible. Make sure to revive teammates you see who are down by running up to them and pressing X, and put an additional few bullets into down opponents to finish off the kill. Active Reload is a system in Gears of War that rewards good timing with faster reloads and other bonuses. When you expend your clip or press reload, a bar will appear under your weapon in the top right corner of the screen and a marker will be moving along the reload bar. By pressing RB, you can stop the marker and where it lands will depend on your reward. White means perfect, giving you a slight damage and stopping power boost for a short period of time. Gray is a good reload, but only provides you with a quicker reload and no damage or stopping power boost. If you mistime your press and land in the black of the bar, your gun will jam, causing your reload to take longer. Specific to Gears of War 4 versus multiplayer is the competitive active reload system, allowing you to active reload at any time, even with a full clip. This is so you can attempt to get a perfect reload for a damage boost in a critical situation, such as just before you run in with a Nasher or to put more damage into an opponent at range. After you land a perfect reload, you will only be able to get good or miss reloads until your active recharges. Keep an eye on the timer next to your weapon's ammo to see if your perfect active change is returned. Let's do this. You can start your loadout with any of the three starting weapons available in the beta, the Lancer, the Hammer Burst, and Nasher. The Lancer is a fully automatic weapon that's useful at most ranges, and generally a great choice for both new and veteran players. For players who want to get closer to the action, the Burst Fire Hammer Burst can outperform the Lancer at short to mid-range. Then there's the Nasher, a shotgun that is designed to dominate at close range. Use the Lancer or Hammer Burst along with the Nasher for the most versatility on the battlefield. New to Gears of War 4 is the Close Cover Combat System, providing you brand new ways to attack opponents in cover. There are two key moves to learn in versus multiplayer. The Vault Kick, which is a great aggressive move that lets you push an opponent out of cover, and the yank, which gives you an additional option to mix up your play when sharing the same cover opposite an opponent. While running at cover where an enemy is present, line up your run and hold forward while pressing B when near their cover to vault kick your opponent, stunning them for an easy finish. If you're on the receiving end of this, there's a small window of opportunity to press B to counter a vault kick. Keep an eye near your character for when the button prompt appears to nail the counter timer. If you're fighting an opponent over cover, you can attempt to grab them by pressing X. Once they land in front of you, quickly approach them and tap Y to pull out your knife and stab them in the face for an execution kill. Be warned, this can be countered with a well-timed press of the B button, and that can turn the tables back on you. Power weapons are more powerful weapons that you can pick up on the battlefield. The torque bow, drop shot, boom shot, and long shot are four of these power weapons that feature in the beta. These weapons are more effective killing machines than the standard weapon loadout, so pick your shots with them carefully. Most fights will center around these weapons, so move with your teammates to these areas throughout the match. If you want to practice with the power weapons in the beta, check out the co-op TDM playlist to get some good hands on time with each of the weapons against bots. Spotting is a great feature that benefits you and your teammates, allowing you to mark enemies for your entire team to make them aware of their presence. Simply aim at who you want to mark and click the left stick. 
Practice doing this every time you're shooting at a target so your teammates can clean them up if they get away. By pressing the left bumper, you can use TACCOM, which is a great way to quickly see where your teammates are, as well as where the power weapons spawn. Use it to regroup with your teammates or to quickly check if a power weapon is currently available. The icon for the weapon will be grayed out if it's been picked up or is on respawn. 